January 2, 2005, the administration considers its toughest detention problem to involve the prisoners held by the CIA. The CIA has been scurrying since September 11, 2001 to find secure locations abroad where it could detain and interrogate captives without risk of discovery and without having to give them access to legal proceedings. February 27, 2005. Palestinian and Israeli security forces arrested seven Palestinians on Saturday in connection with a suicide bombing in Tel Aviv the night before, while leaders of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad in Syria asserted responsibility for the attack. April 7, 2005. Sinn Féin leader Jerry Adams appealed to the Irish Republican Army to use words, not guns, to fulfill its aims of ending British rule, but was dismissed as a cynical election ploy. July 24, 2005. People of different races and creeds, jet lag Nigerians and shell shocked Britons, mourned Anthony Fatai Williams, who died with 55 others, including the presumed bombers in the July 7 terrorist attacks on London's transportation system. August 31st. Desperate for fresh air, thousands of refugees from Hurricane Katrina slept on the walkways surrounding the Superdome. September 28th. The Israeli military responded to rocket attacks by killing at least two Hamas fighters and the military leader of Islamic Jihad for southern Gaza in several pre-dawn strikes. October 19th. France says extremists are enlisting its citizens. November 15th. Islamic terrorists stockpile bomb-making materials. December 1st. Belgian police detained 14 people suspected of an involvement in a terrorist network that sent fighters to Iraq. January 1st, 2006. Authorities searched Sunday for the suspected Islamic militants who set up a bomb at a Christian market in central Indonesia, killing seven people.